What's going on guys? I have a very important lesson for anybody who is starting their entrepreneurial journey in 2022. This came from a personal experience that I just had visiting my brother up in college in Chico. Last weekend, I went to visit my brother in college. He's about to graduate and enter the real world. And I got to speak to so many young people about their next steps in their lives and their first step in their career. And I was honestly really honored to be able to speak to a lot of these people and give them advice. Because personally, I was one who didn't go to college. I had I went to the School of Hard Knocks. I went to community college, dropped out of community college to start my coaching business, ate shit for many years, busting tables while I was trying to get my business started. And there was many learning lessons that I learned along my journey that I was able to pass down to some of these kids and some of these students who are about to enter the real world. And there was one case in particular of this student, not student, but of this kid who wanted to start a business. He did not want to work a nine to five. He wanted to go into entrepreneurship. He wanted to start working for himself and he wanted to be a business owner. We got to talking and you know he had tried a couple businesses here and there and it actually reminded me a lot of my own personal story when I first got started with business when I first got started with business I just wanted to start a business I didn't care what business it was I just wanted to start a business and so my first business that I ever started was I sold custom hats to students at my high school I would buy you know hats in bulk I would create designs I'd go get them embroidered and then I'd sell them to students in high school and while I was making some money I had no idea what I was doing I knew it wasn't something that I was going to be able to get off the ground other than just having some side pocket cash. And this kid in particular was pretty much doing the same exact thing. He started a candle business on Etsy and was selling candles, starting an Instagram page, started posting up candle content. And he is like, you know, I put in, you know, 1200, 1500 bucks to start this business, but I haven't made any returns because I don't really know what the heck I'm doing. And I said, how many times have you done something like this where you save up some money, you start a business and you lose it all? He's like, no, I've done it probably like two or three times. And I did the same exact thing when I was starting. I would save up 1500 to two grand, invest it into starting a business and then lose it all because I had no idea what I was doing. So I told him, do not start a business. If you want to start a business, the first step is to not start a business. The first step is to not start a business. And the second step is to learn how to start a business. Then the third step is to start a business. And so for me, this came from the same exact thing. I went from 18 to about 22 years old, trying to start all these different businesses and I was investing all this money that was going absolutely nowhere. But it wasn't until I started investing into mentors and investing into courses online to actually learn how to start a business, it immediately shifted. And if you think about it like this, the moment we're born, we have teachers. Our parents teach us how to walk and how to talk. Our preschool teachers teach us how to interact with other students. Our teachers teach us how to read and write. And then with work, we have a boss. And so our entire life, we have had people who have been able to guide and mentor us through life to teach us how to live our life properly. So then why is it that when people enter the world of business, they think that they have to do it all by themselves? And for me, I got nowhere doing that. I was stubborn and I literally got no results. So I told this kid, I said, just spend the next one to two years learning everything that you can from the people that you want to learn from. I would way rather see him spend fifteen to $2,000 on courses and mentorship than trying to start a business. Because if you spend one year, let's say that you're able to save up $10,000 and you invest that into coaches and mentorship, well, those people who you're learning from are gonna be able to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to build a successful business right out the gate, which is ultimately what you want. Do you want to build a successful business or do you just want to start a business that eventually crashes and burns because you have no idea where to go. But for some reason, a lot of people are stubborn and they don't want to invest into the mentor because they think it's a risk or they think it's a scam. But the thing is, the people who are teaching people how to do the thing are teaching people for a reason just because they know how to do the thing. And so if you want to do the thing, you have to go learn how to do the thing rather than trying to figure out how to do the thing on your own. So my advice for this kid was, you know, you're just about to leave college, get yourself a nine to five job that you're going to be to save money with, then invest everything you can into buying as many different programs, as many different courses from as many different people as possible until you find a business model that you really like and that you want to pursue and then buy more of that stuff. In this case, you might buy a drop shipping course. You might buy an e-com course. You might buy a you know, fitness coaching online course. You might buy you know, a Photoshop course. Like you, you might buy a bunch of different things. You have to try to taste it to figure out what you like. And then 
let's say that you really like the online coaching route. Then you just buy more online coaching courses and you just accumulate as much information as possible. And then you'll be ready to start a business because you'll know exactly what to do from the beginning. So that's my advice for you guys is don't start a business, invest in learning first and then start the business.